Welcome back to Purple Nerd Channel where we geek out on all things Prince related. Prince first mentioned the term new power generation on the opening track I know from the album Love Sexy. Welcome to the new power generation. He would expand further into this theology on the song New Power Generation from the album Graffiti Bridge. Prince debuted the official New Power Generation band on the classic album Diamonds and Pearls. The band consisted of Rosie Gaines, Tommy Barbarella, Sonny T, Michael Bland, Levi Caesar Jr., Tony M, Kirk Johnson, and Damon Dixon. Prince and the New Power Generation will record a second album called, with a slightly different lineup, with Maite being added after Rosie Gaines left. During a break on the Diamonds and Pearls tour in Australia, the band and Prince did a collaborative effort on several different songs. The focus was even heavier on hip hop than what was done on the Diamonds and Pearls album, with Tony M being the lead on all the songs as a rapper. Tony M's Big Daddy Kane sounding voice with his MC8 type of flow worked very well with the tracks. During the recording of these songs, we were at the high point of the whole gangster rap genre, and I think Prince wanted to see what he could do with it and flip it on his head, as he wanted to present a similar sound as far as keeping the whole 70s funk grooves that they were sampling, but the MPG was a band and not an MPC sampler slash drum machine, so they would be playing live instruments, and although it sounded like your typical gangster rap, Tony M's lyrics would actually be promoting positivity in the black community. And just like every great 90s rap record, they did record a bunch of skits. This project was recorded again with a slightly different lineup as Maite was replaced by Morris Hayes. The MPG's debut album was released August 31st, 1993. It was only sold at the Act 2 concerts, but later on was sold in a limited run at the MPG stores. The first edition of this project included an extra song called Guess Who's Knockin'. <laughs> But it was removed as it sounded very similar to the song Let Em In by Wings. Someone knocking at the door. Somebody ringing the bell. There is nothing to confirm that legal action was taken by Paul McCartney towards Prince to remove this song, but I think Prince just thought it sounded too similar, so he on his own removed the song. The project is listed with 15 tracks, but only seven of them are actual songs, and one of those is an instrumental. The rest of the album is made up of skits that I'd mentioned earlier. And these skits are telling a little bit of a story about what was going on during the recording of this album and all the different shenanigans that Tony M was getting into, as well as him getting with a couple different ladies and him fighting with the record company to get his album out. So let's start things off with the title track. Stay strong. The title track is broken up into three different parts, although it was originally recorded as a nine minute long song, and for whatever reason, they broke it up throughout this album. This is one of the first songs recorded for this project during their break from the Diamonds and Pearls tour, and it really sets off sonically what you're gonna hear on the rest of this project. After two skits, we get into the song Deuce and a Quarter, and for those of you who don't know, deuce and a quarter is a slang term originally specifically towards the Buick Electra 225, but over the years, pretty much any big body GM sedan from the 70s or early 80s gets this title. And in case you never noticed, Prince does a lot of mentioning of different cars, whether metaphorically or just outright, because he was in fact a car guy. And matter of fact, if you would like me to do a video going over his automotive collection, let me know in the comments down below. Black MF in the House was originally supposed to be the B-side to the single Sexy MF from the album, but at the last minute it was replaced with Strollin' and this song was moved off onto this project. This song comes after a skit of the band booking a gig at a country and western bar. And as you can imagine, all kinds of craziness occurs. Prince is featured on this song playing the character of several different racist rednecks. You ever heard a horn so after part two of the title track, we get the song Goldie's Parade. This is pretty much an instrumental. There is some talking from Tony M, basically, you know, explaining how awesome his band is live. 
but for the most part this is this is essentially an instrumental After another skit, we get the song Together. Together is the only single that was released from this project, and it was actually included on the MPG Records compilation 1 800 New Funk. After this song, we go into another skit. Hmm. Well, let me call the law. Call the law. We're getting busy, y'all. We're getting busy, y'all. Call the Law is the oldest song on this project. It was recorded in 1990 and meant to be on the Diamonds and Pearls album, but was cut from the final track configuration. It was released as a B-side though for the single Money Don't Matter Tonight and even got its own music video. Step to the mic, a taste the hype, it's manifested this blessed gift, I have to bring it right. Which is on the Diamonds and Pearls music video collection. Johnny is a 10 minute plus jam session of a song. Prince is featured on the song as a character dropping some serious bars. And at one point in the song, he asks the band if Prince is going to show up to sing. This song is followed up by a skit and part three of the title track. Thank you again for joining me on this episode. Please like and share this video as much as possible. And as always, please subscribe to the channel. I will see you on the next episode as I go into the second album from MPG. And until that next episode, I wish you heaven.